What's going on guys and welcome to my Magic Bullet tutorial. Today I'm kind of just going to walk through um, how I use Magic Bullet and um, the things I usually start with and build on. Um, so you don't really want to just like copy the settings I'm about to put on because every clip is different, every anime is different, etc, etc. So just kind of use this as a, um, a foundation if you're, if you're just getting started with Magic Bullet. This is kind of what this is for. So I'm going to hop into the new comp and show you guys what I usually do. All right, so here we are in our rock comp. I'm just going to play this for you so you can you can see what it looks like with no CC on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put an adjustment layer over this whole thing, and then I'm going to throw looks on there and try to get a consistent look first. And then I'll cut up the adjustment layer in certain parts to make um, other scenes pop out. So let's go ahead and start out with that. All right, so let's go ahead and hit uh, Control Alt Y to add an adjustment layer. And then I'm going to press Enter. And I'm going to name it Looks just because I like doing that. It makes everything a little bit more organized. Um, so now let's go to our effects and presets and look, uh, type in Looks. Double click it. So now we've got Looks on our adjustment layer. And let's click Edit. Okay, so now as you can see, I've got this thing called Scopes. You can press S to show that, to close it. If you want to see that, there's all these different types of graphs that'll show you the colors that you're working with and the values of um, different properties. Um, so you don't, I mean, I don't usually pay too much attention to these. I usually just keep this one open so I can see how much red, green, and blue is in the um, final product. So um, that's how I'm gonna leave it. Let me make this bigger, there we go. Um, so, and then you can change the source right here, but I don't usually mess with that. It's kind of, it's kind of damaging to the footage, so I don't, I don't mess with that there. Um, but first thing I'm going to start with is subject. This is, you usually want to start here. So let me press T to show the effects or well tools. And then I'm going to start with this, um, effect called shadows and highlights. I'll go ahead and drag that in there. Um, press T to close the, um, the tools window and then now we have these values that we can work with um what i usually do i usually start with the shadows negative just bring that down a little bit it's almost it's kind of like contrast but it isn't it's um making the darkest the darker colors darker so um i just put that almost all the way down to minus one let's go and throw that there and then the highlights i usually turn up just a little bit um so that should be enough for our shadows and highlights and then after that, I actually jump all the way down to post and then let's press T to open that up. And we're about to use my favorite effect in all of Magic Bullet, which is Mojo. This is a very, very, very powerful effect that you can do a lot with. So just throwing it on there, you can see what that does already. It adds all different types of color and um, accents to everything. So let's go and look in these settings and see what we want to change. Okay, so first setting that we're going to change here is the Mojo setting. I usually don't like this number too high, but I'm just going to crank it up so you can see what it does real quick, up to 200% and down to zero. Um, I'm going to put it around in the 20s, should be good. And I'm going to turn my punch up some and the bleach down. Um, right about there, I think, negative 90. Keep in mind, this is going to be different um, depending on what scene you're using. So don't, don't copy these settings. Um, fade is going to add exactly what it sounds like, kind of like a whiteness. I'm not going to use that this time, but I do use that quite a bit. So um, I'm keep it on zero this time, though. Um, skin squeeze, I usually put that down to zero. I usually leave the blue squeeze where it's at. Exposure can uh, stay the same. Uh, cool, warm, green, magenta, and skin color. It's usually the same. If I do change something in here, it's usually the skin color, but I'm gonna leave that the same for right now. Um, so next thing I'm gonna add is a um, edge, or not, yeah, edge softness, um, which is right here in lens settings. So this tool is going to add kind of a blur around our edges, um, and you can adjust the size and the spread using the radius and sp spread settings right there. And then I usually change the quality up to 10. And then when you do that, you're going to need the blur size to be higher. So I'm going to turn that up to like around 20. Um, and I like it to be aspect a little bit where it's more um, wider and around the sides. And then let me turn the spread down a little bit right about there. And then also in the lens, um, in the lens tools, I'm going to add a haze flare, which is 
something I really, this is probably my favorite thing to add in Magic Bullet is Haze Flare. And you can change the color of it. I basically, I usually do like this and look at the different colors, see what they're going to look like in the final product. And then I think for this one, I'm going to use like a, like a pink here. Cause I think that matches the scene pretty well. And the softness I usually turn down and the spillage up some. And then here's the important part is the exposure. So the exposure and reflection exposure, you can kind of think of it as the left and right sides, sort of, not really, but it usually ends up being like that. So um, I'm going to turn the reflection exposure down. See, it does do both sides, but you'll see what I mean by left and right. Um, and the exposure, I'm going to turn up just a little bit. So it's at 0 0.3 and I think that's good. So let's go ahead and hop out and see what we did um, so far. Hit the check mark and then you can go ahead and scrub through here and see um, what we changed. So some of these shots look okay and the other ones look way too strong. Like this is way too strong. This looks all right and way too strong again. This is acceptable, but I think it's still too bright. So we're going to start cutting this up and doing individual scenes. So let's go to this one first. I'm going to hit Control Shift D to um, cut our adjustment layer. Um, I did that in the wrong spot. Hold on, Control Z, go page down, Control Shift D right there. Okay, so let's do this one first. So I'm going to go into our settings and I'm going to turn our haze flare settings down. So our exposure is too hot, I think. Yeah, let's turn that down and I'm actually gonna turn the reach up because it kind of keeps it smoother. Like it'll reach further, but it won't be as strong. Um, so I think that's okay for right now. All right. And then I'm going to go to, I think this scene is all right. And this one's too strong. So let's go right here and control shift D. And then I'm going to, I'm actually going to cut this again before I change this so that it doesn't change this part too. So control shift D and then now I'm going to change this one. Um, so here I actually want the haze flare to be a lot softer. So let's increase the softness and the spillage down. So like the amount that it's spilling um, and the reach higher. So it's kind of reaching all the way across there. And I think that's okay for right now. Um, all right. And then next we're gonna do is this one, which I actually changed a few things in this, in this shot here. Um, so let me isolate this adjustment layer as well. Um, right there, control shift D. Okay. So this one, I actually added another tool in post. So let's press T and this one is called L U T. Not really sure what it stands for, but I like it. <laughs> um, uh, so in L U T you have a preset and L U T setting. So I don't touch this cause obviously you need to make a preset. <laughs> uh, I don't make presets really. So um, in LUT, I put on subtle, subtle um, preset right there. And then I think I had it, did I have before or after the mojo? It was after. So it kind of, with this shot in particular anyway, it kind of added almost like a faded background and then she kind of like pops out into the scene. So I like that. Um, I think that's all right for that one. Um, and I think this one was too strong as well. So I'm actually just going to copy these looks, control C, go to this adjustment layer and control V. Okay. Um, I think that's about all I want to change here. Um, maybe, maybe these haze flares is too many lines here. So I'm going to go in here and change the exposure or not the exposure, the spillage, excuse me. So it's not as many. Um, I think that's about it. Let me double check the other comp, see if there's anything else I added or forgot. But I think that's it. Um, oh, I did add a vignette. Okay. I'll show you that real quick. But yeah, um, basically what I showed you is all that I really do to do all my videos. Um, just those few things. I'm going to go ahead and add a vignette, which you don't have to do. Put this on top. Um, I just do every once in a while on certain shots because I think it looks kind of nice. That's all you got to do there is just turn the, this value shrinks the, um, the lens and then the amount like increases, it makes it like darker or lighter. And I always do darker. So that's pretty much it. Let me just play this through. 
Um, you basically just play with those settings and find stuff that you like. And obviously you can make uh, presets if you want. I'm going to show you how to do that actually. Let's um, go ahead and make sure this is selected. Say you wanted to keep this preset. You go up to animation, save animation preset, and then just name it. Let's just call it, I don't know, LUT. <laughs> save, and that's it. And then when you go to your effects and presets, you can go type in the name, LUT, user presets, and it's right there. So watch, you just go like this. You can drag it on or double click it, whatever, and then it's back on there. So um, that's really all for this tutorial. Um, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Um, I will do more Magic Bullet, so this isn't it. This is kind of just like the basics and how to get started. Um, so yeah, just um, so stay tuned for our future tutorials on this. I'm gonna do like more specific ones for darker and lighter scenes, warm and cool sort of thing. But um, yeah, this is just so you guys can get started on Magic Bullet. So um, yeah, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.